Okay, so now we're ready to take those z-score formulas that we just found by going backwards in a table and turn them into some sort of real-life value. The way we do that is we take the z-score formula and we solve for x. So let's start off with the z-score formula of x minus mu over sigma, right? The standard deviations away from average is our data point minus our mean all over our standard deviation. So what we want to do is get rid of our denominator by multiplying both sides by sigma. So I take my equation, multiply by sigma, the standard deviation, so that I can cancel off my one denominator. And now on the right side, I just have x minus mu. So I want to add mu, the mean, to both sides. Also, before I do that, I went ahead and flipped the sigma z to be z sigma, just because we tend to see it always written that way. But I add mu to both sides, so I can cancel off mu, and I've got mu plus z sigma equals x. Although generally we'll flip both sides of the equal sign to get x plus mu, sorry, x equals mu plus z sigma. And this is the formula that we'll be using from now on to calculate z-scores. I will give it to you on a test, but you can always find it pretty quickly. And some people will actually just plug every, the numbers into the original z-score and just kind of start solving from there. But here is an example. The average weight of a certain type of cat is 8 pounds with a standard deviation of 1.5 pounds. Any cat in the top 10% of this weight category is considered obese. What is the lightest weight of an obese cat for this breed? So now be careful because it says lightest weight, but we're considering the top 10% because basically we're asking for the starting point of those obese cats. So I take the information I was already given, a mean of eight, a standard deviation of 1.5, and I wanna work with the top 10%. We had just found that the top 10% has a z-score of 1.28. Normally I won't have just done that in the prior problem and I won't have it handy, but in this case we did. So now to find the weight I want, which is a data point, I need to use the formula x equals mu plus z sigma. So I plug in the values I have, 8 for the mean, 1.28 for z, the z-scores, top 10%, and then sigma is actually 1.5, which I don't know why it takes a second to fix. There we go. So I multiplied, added, and I get 9.92. So that's my answer. Remember, this is in pounds. The question asked, what is the lightest weight? I'm answering in weight, and weight is in pounds. It's not a percent. But for this particular breed of cats, any cat that weighs 9.92 pounds is obese. Anything at that weight or higher is also obese.